Hi everyone and welcome to this new video about control systems. In this example we will consider a open loop configuration, a plant and open loop configuration and we will discuss the gain margin and the phase margin. So we will calculate the gain margin and the phase margin in an analytical form and we will do that of course step by step without skipping any step as we did in the previous examples. So let's start. What is the gain margin and what is the phase margin of this system? Okay. So what you first do, and what you should do, uh, that is my advice, convert this transfer function which is given in the S domain in J omega domain. So I will do that. Let me do that in blue. So step one. So step one is convert, convert the transfer function into j omega domain and what does that mean that means actually the following so i will move i will continue with the black that means actually set your value s which is the parameter here in the laplace of s domain to j omega so that's actually what you do and it will result in g j omega will be 500 divided by j omega plus 2 and then j omega plus 4 and j omega plus 8. Okay. Um, now, that's actually our step one. For step two, we will now look at the situation of gain margin first. So, step two, and which is actually the question A. So, how do we do gain margin? Gain margin. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is actually the gain margin? The definition of the gain margin is the following. What is the gain of this system when the phase shift of this system is minus 180 degrees so this is actually the following what is let me write it down so what is the gain of the given system when the phase shift or phase is minus 180 degrees so it's actually you're actually looking at the phase and it will of course result in a, in a frequency that will of course be used to calculate the gain okay so for the phase of this system the phase of this system can be calculated using the phase contribution of the uh, of this part so the denominator and the numerator and the phase contribution of the bottom side so actually what you have is the phase contribution of this side is just zero but the phase contribution of these three elements will of course give you three separate phases depending on of course the j omega of course we have to look at this one because we are working with the j omega domain so what we have is actually phase which is denoted as i will continue with blue is phi as a function of omega which is zero degrees just from the from this side of the expression minus the arc tangent or of the G of omega divided by 2 which is the imaginary part divided by the real part and then again minus arc tangent omega divided by 4 the similar form actually and then you do minus arc tangent which is the last part again imaginary part divided by the real part this is actually your expression of the phase in general what we should do actually is equate this expression to minus 180 degrees and then calculate at what frequency that happens so the next step is actually the following 
equate this to minus 180 degrees, what will result? So what omega do I get? <coughs> of course, it's a little bit complicated expression, so it is very difficult to do that by hand. So you can use a solver or any other uh, method. If you graph this, so if you make this one function and this is another function, you will get actually following sketch. So if I now make this sketch, you will have the following, so you have the omega here, and you have the face here. Your blue line, which is just the arctangent part, which will look like this, which will have a following form, and your face of 180 degrees will like this. Like is what I have actually done is the following, because I have to say that also. I've equated, of course, this, which is just this part, equal to that part. And I've multiplied left and the right side of this equation with a minus 1. So what I have is the following. I will have our tangent of omega divided by 2, and then plus our tangent... Of omega divided by 4 and then plus our tangent omega divided by 8 which is plus 180 degrees so this part which is now in red which is given here as a horizontal line and the blue part which is this is also given <coughs> so what do I have is following is just zero and zero and I have here if I do that in green I have here an intersection so if I go down this will result in a in a value that I need for the calculation of the uh, gain <coughs> so I will denote this as uh, gain margin frequency and this is 180 degrees <coughs> Now, if you do the math here correctly, you will get omega is equal to 7.48. And I will define this omega of gain margin, gm. Now, the next step is actually the following. You will now calculate the gain, this corresponding gain, at this frequency. So, what I have is I need the gain at... At this frequency so you will use of course the absolute signs for calculated gain so again I move back and use this expression and of course need to calculate or determine the expression for the gain just general expression and then substitute this value 7.48 radians per second of course this is just radians per second so let me do that also this is radians per second which is now defined as omega sub gm. All right, um, so let's do that. First, I will determine the general form of this uh, expression for the magnitude and then substitute the value of the omega is equal to 7.48. So let's do that. So the gain in general, this will be the gain of the Of this part which is just 500 and then you will take of course the square root of the squares of the real part and the imaginary part which is a really similar a familiar uh, uh, equation we have used also in complex numbers and phasor which is which, which I have dealt in another video so what I have is the following you will get just 500 here and divided by so each term will be actually just a length which will be omega squared plus 2 squared and again, in similar form, omega squared plus 4 squared and times the omega squared plus 8 squared. Okay, that's actually what it is for general form. And now, if I now substitute the value omega gm in here, 
which will of course be just 7.48. What do I get? Now you just su substitute actually for each omega here, you will substitute 7.48, 7.48, 7.48, and you will do the math, or you, of course, you will punch this in the calculator, and you will get a value. So actually, I will write it down. So 500 divided by the square root of 7.48. Let me do that again, and then squared. And then square root of 7.48 again, squared plus this time 4 squared. And then 7.48 squared plus 8 squared. Okay. So what you get here is approximated 0.695. What we should do next is, this is just, of course, uh, as a vector, so it's approximately 0 0.7. <clears throat> what you now should do is, of course, we'll have to calculate the gain margin, and gain margin is uh, generally usually given in dB. So what we have to do is convert this into dB. So what we have is the value of this in dBs. Now we will, of course, use the general familiar formula, of, of course, which you see also in body plot. So there's 20 log of this gain as a factor. So what we have is 20 log of 0 0.695, which is very close to 3.16 dB. Okay, we are now very close to the gain margin because the gain margin is the following. How far is this from zero dB point? So we have a zero dB, which is the which is above this. So you can actually have you have actually a room of 3.16 dB. So you have a headroom of 0 point, 3.16 dB. That's actually what it means by the gain margin. So the gain margin, I will do it in blue. So the gain margin. So the gain margin. <coughs> is the minus of this value. Let me write that again. Which is 3.16 dB. So we are now done actually with the first part of our exercise. Now, next one, which is given here, the phase margin, now we'll do that again, and that's our third step. Second, have we now we have done now, and then third step is step three. Which is the phase margin. Okay, how do we do this? Now, in a very simple form, actually, with the gain margin, but we'll look at a different uh, value. So what would you what you need to do? I will also dry, write it down. What is the phase of your system again? G, which is of course given the J omega domain, when the gain is one or zero dB. So I will write it down. What is what is the phase or phase shift of your system, which is given here? when the gain is 1 or 0 dBs, if you want to do it in dBs. That means actually the following. You need to start first with the gain and equate it to 1, and then extract from that the value of the omega, and then use that value of omega in the expression for phase, and we will see what we do with that phase in the next step. So well, first is actually the following. You will need to do what is the omega which result in a gain of 1. Which is of course this 500 divided by the square root of omega squared plus 2 squared 
omega squared plus 4 squared and omega squared plus 8 squared and a squared of that all combined must be 1. Now you can do, do that also in the solver but if you want to have a general idea how this is look uh, how this is look so we can of course again make this blue and this one just red again just two separate formulas so we can make a sketch obviously hell handy what we have is the omega what we have is the gain here so we have the gain okay our blue curve will look like this let me draw it again and in a form like this and our red curve is again a horizontal line of one so we have an intersection let me do that here zero zero here intersection in blue and if i now go down this will be omega pm which is of course the phase margin gain uh, radians per second okay so if i do the math here you will get very close to six point 29 and I will now define this as omega pm. The next step is then, the next step is use this value. Again, this is in radians per second. So I forgot this again. So this is just radians per second. Again, defined as omega pm. Then what you do is you will substitute this value of omega pm in the expression for the phase. So what you have is minus arctangent of 6.29 divided by two minus arctangent 6.29 divided by four and minus arctangent 6.29 divided by eight. Again, I substitute this value in the phase expression which is shown here this zero of course doesn't do anything so what we have is only the last three parts so we actually will get this and if you do the math here you will have a phase of very close to minus 168 degrees now the thing is we would like to know how far we are from minus 180 degrees if you look at this you will have still 12 degrees before you reach actually the minus 180 degrees so what you say actually here is the following pm or phase margin is 180 degrees plus the phase at your specific frequency which is the omega pm and this is 180 degrees plus minus 168 which will result in 12 degrees so what you have i will summarize what you have is a phase margin of 12 degrees and a gain margin of 3.16 db so the gain margin is given in dbs and phase margin is given in degrees or in radians which you prefer but this is actually more uh, usually done.